Hi, I'm Tom with BFID channel and in this tutorial for Revit I will show you how to get room height information into the room schedule. As you can see here, it's not as straightforward as it might seem from the first sight and we will have to do some trickery to get this. So let's start with my sample project where I have few rooms and also a room schedule where I don't have the room heights yet. And if I go and take a look at this section, you can see that I've got uh, rooms with different heights of the ceilings. The first thing that we need to do is set up our project so it calculates the room volumes. To see what's happening in the visibility graphics override in this section, I will let uh, under the rooms, I will uh, set the interior fill and reference to on, so I will see my room volumes. You can see that in my project, the room heights are currently higher than the room ceilings and it's set by the limit offset. I can change it to lower or higher. But I want to change. I don't want to change this by hand. I would like to rev it to compute it automatically. And currently, you can also see that the volume is not computed. So first, in this project, and it depends on your template how you set it up. I want to set up the calculation of room volume, and it's on the architecture tab under the room and area. When I click this drop down, I can open area computations. And I had it set up that it, it calculates areas only, but I'm changing it to areas and volumes. And I will also make sure that the room area computation is at the wall finish. Now, if I click OK, you can see that the rooms have been adjusted to up to the ceilings. The Revit does this computation automatically. And if I click the room, you can also see that the offset is still the same, but Revit now counts the volume, which is the true volume calculated up until up uh, when, it, when it faces ceiling. So that's the first step. And now we will go to the room schedule and we want to have another column with room height. So in the fields, uh, if I search for room height, there is no, no uh, parameter for room height here. That's just the way Revit works. So we will have to do some trickery. So I will pull up the volume into, into my schedule. And if I click OK, you can see that the volume is, uh, is calculated here or is scheduled here. And now we can calculate the height of the room by dividing the volume by the area which makes, uh, which should output the room height. So I go to fields again, and now I create new calculated parameter and I name it height. And it will be formula. The discipline um, is common and, uh, and type, uh, change it from text to length. That's important. And in the formula, I can click here and click the three dots and I select volume, hit OK. So it inputs volume here. Then I select divide and divide it by area. OK, OK. So now I've got height here and if I click OK, you can see that the calculated height uh, is here in millimeters. So now you can see that some of the number here uh, come off a little bit odd. If I take a look at my section, uh, the numbers should be like 2,304 millimeters or uh, 2,351, but just 2,350 for the relaxation room. And this is because of the limited precision of the division calculation. So we have to edit this and uh, in the formatting, we can go to the height and uh, we can change the field format. And instead of using project settings, we can edit it and we can round. 
let's say to the nearest 10 millimeters okay so now if i hit okay okay it will round to the nearest 10 millimeters so the relaxation room is 2350 millimeters and uh, this storage is 2520 millimeters you could adjust the rounding uh, as you wish the 10 millimeters is fine for me here so i will also align this uh, to the center and i will also want to see the millimeters here so again i will go to formatting select my height go to field format and unit symbol i will change it to millimeters hit ok ok so now you can see that uh, the millimeters are written here and also in my room schedule area and height is enough for me i don't want to schedule the volume i just needed to have here for the calculation so i will make this invisible just in the background i will go to the formatting select volume and select it as hidden field so it will be used in my calculation but it's not visible in the in the schedule so this is how you can easily uh, insert room height into your into your room schedule but there's a one caveat it only works if your ceiling is flat not sloped and also if the ceiling in the whole room has got the same height in the whole room if there are ceilings of, of different heights in one room this calculation wouldn't work properly as you can see in this example with the attic with the sloped roof i will look at the cross section you can see that the attic has non-constant room height and also this uh, living room here has two different ceiling heights one is eight feet another seven feet six inches so in the room schedule if i again uh, if i tile those views you can see that the attic has some calculated height with which depends on the on the slope of the of the ceiling and on the bottom height and the top height so basically this number is non-usable here and the same is here this is the this is the living room so uh, you can see it here that the calculated height is some, somewhere between seven feet six inches and eight feet again it depends on the area of the lower ceiling and the area of the upper ceiling it's not just in the middle so basically to have this height calculated properly you have to have uh, really simple uh, simple ceiling height in the whole room so this is it for the room height calculations if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one